arsenic element. What do you get when you cross a chili head with a grow tent? The ground cherries, tomatillos, ground cherries. I did another purple tiger. And these plants stay alive. Man, they look great. They look beautiful. Arsenic element does spend a little time at the range and hunting also. But the majority of his uploads are the garden and hydroponics. There's another one. It looks like little Tic Tacs. You'll also catch a few drone videos mixed in there. But Arsenic Element loves the peppers. Like, loves. Again, with another video. And taste tests. Today... I have some tincture. Oh boy. Ready guys? It's, mm, it's almost like candy. It tastes so good. I've been taking drops uh, every day. Like a fiend. <laughs> If you're into gardening and grow bags and grow tents and even hydroponics and you can take a little heat, <laughs> he, he takes a little heat, you're going to get a kick out of arsenic element. Not sure what's cooking. <laughs> oh, y'all. The title really does say it all. So you, I think everybody's had a Chex Mix. Well, this is kind of similar, but it's made with white and chocolate bark. Um, you don't want to mix it too hard because you don't want it to mix in with with the white a whole bunch. <laughs> what? You don't want it to mix in with with the white. Okay, a whole that bunch. was <laughs> that was in poor okay. taste. Not her. <laughs> now, as you can see, it looks like a big blob of mess, don't it? See? <laughs> a pork and beans. Sorry, guys. Sorry. One can of pineapple chucks. Mix it up with those noodles and just get everything mixed up. All right. Now, the barbecue sauce. You're going to put quite a bit. It's like Thursday dinners where you're cooking whatever's left in the pantry and the fridge after your grown children grocery shopped at your house. <laughs> and you forgot the book club and the city council are both yeah, meeting at your house in an hour. There. And don't forget the barbecue sauce. Lots of barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> Is barbecue sauce on everything in the Ozarks? You didn't get enough barbecue sauce here. Nope. Because you don't want the juices from the fajita stuff to cook out before you get the meat in there. Not sure what's cooking shares a plethora of southern and southwest comfort foods and even some themed dishes. So if you're a Thursday evening cook looking for inspiration or you love that Ozark personality, and you will. You'll want to check out Not Sure What's Cooking. Sunshine Acres. Sunshine Acres has been Kara and Jason's dream in the making. And they're beginning to see their hard work paying off. Particularly with Sunset Cabin. Alright. That'll be about the edge here. The cabin is an awesome testament to doing it yourself. I have to put it down. Put Huh? A lot of hands on Talk work. Cover. Not totally decided on that. We've got this cool little shelf. It's a piece of uh, spalted maple. Thank you, Chad. And lots of fun lessons. Mm -hmm. And I forgot for a second that you can't slam on your foot and make it the break. They also show what they do with their garden. And I kind of snuck in at the end because I had more brine than I thought. The recipe said it would fill five jars, but it filled seven. Their gardening is a small amount of their uploads. And then there are also lots of videos uh, second, on maintaining the I want to show you a Bronco, foam holder that Bronco I've selected. Nerd. I know it works for the base model. It may for the big bin. So if you're a Bronco nerd, that's So if you cool. love seeing cool building projects and building up a homestead in general and a lot of raw timber work, or you're a Bronco nerd <laughs> like Jason, 
Sunshine Acres may be right up your alley. Pepper Gardening Highs <laughs> and Hydroponics from a Heat Seeker. The Ozark Cook who knows what she's doing, but maybe not what it's called. Building up the 13-acre dream homestead. Are these your people?